If you are in the rigid tool lineup, or if you're thinking about getting into the rigid tool lineup, you might want to watch this video. Now, a lot of new tools have been announced from rigid. Some of you are going to be really happy and some of you are not. Let's talk about this. What's up everybody. Welcome to the tool reviews on channel. Now, if you ever walk into the home Depot, you see the orange tools, the rigid brand. And for the last couple years, they've sort of been, well, I want to say not very innovative. They've been going through a lot of different changes. They came out with different battery technologies, such as the octane. They announced it, then they discontinued it. Then they came out with the new battery platform, the max output, which I don't really mind, but today they have even a new battery that they just announced plus a couple other new tools and again like I mentioned some of you are probably going to be happy and some of you are going to be just frustrated and if you know this channel if you're a subscriber you know that I'm just going to give it to you straight and tell you exactly how I feel about these new tools that were announced so let's take a look at the first one now I'll put timestamps in this video so if you're not interested in this tool you can just look at those timestamps and jump to the tool that you might be interested in but this is the new wet tile saw and what's different about this compared to the other rigid ones is this is a beast it's a 10 inch tile saw now rigid tool always push their tile saw as a professional grade saw and yeah a lot of professionals use them however the price tag on this one really sort of matches what they're going for it's seven 99 for this saw yes you could do bevels you can slide this thing and you can use it like a miter saw if you wanted to so that's pretty cool and you can see this thing also comes with the stand so that's real nice like if you're not wanting to set this down on a table you want to take this thing outside now i will say that this thing looks pretty cool and pretty powerful but again unless you're professional you're not buying this saw you're probably going to go with one of their smaller units however you know, this is something that a lot of people might like. It looks pretty portable and you can get it around the job site. It looks like you got that wet tray to keep all the gunk inside. And if you're cutting longer pieces, this is gonna be good for you. And again, those bevel cuts, that's a huge thing. Now, I'm not gonna bore you with all the details, but I will put them up here for you. So if you are interested in this tile saw, well, there you go. That's all the information that you need right here. All right, so if you're looking for the next tool, here it is. This is the new rigid three panel light. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is where rigid sort of loses me they've already had multiple multiple lights and every company has multiple multiple lights now i will tell you that this takes the battery or you can plug it in which is nice and maybe a lot of you are saying to yourself i'm in the rigid platform i have an 18 volt battery and i could really use that and that's great but for me this just isn't exciting and i just see the same thing over and over again yeah does the light look cool great but it just seems rehashed many many times Again, some of you might love this thing. Me personally, I'm not that excited about it. If you wanna see the specs, here they are right now. Now, just a quick thing, and you can read through this if you want. 14 hours of runtime, I'm guessing that's on low. It's not bad. 3,500 lumens, not bad, but look at the price, $139. And that is just not something I'm excited about. There is some you know, swivel panning up and down and all that good stuff, but $139. I don't see anybody asking for this light, but let's move it over to the next tool. So let me say that this is another tool that I do not believe anybody has asked for within the last five years, six years from Rigid. And it seems like this is like the Gen 9 or Gen 10 rotary hammer. It's just the same rehash thing over and over and over again. Now, I'm sure there's some cool features. I'm sure it's probably more powerful when we'll look at the specs. But again, this is where I end up having some trouble with Rigid. And I'm just being honest. Listen, I think when you come to this channel, not only do you want to see the new tools, you want to hear what I have to say about them. Or maybe you don't, I, you know, but I'm going to let you know anyway. Rigid needs to be more exciting and they used to be exciting and now it seems like they're just doing what they were doing a few years ago where they just keep releasing the same thing over and over again. Nobody that I believe is asking for a new rigid rotary hammer. What they're asking for is outdoor power equipment but I have a feeling that Emerson, the, the company that actually owns rigid and, and licenses it to TTI saying no we don't want that. Now there is some rumors that there are you know, outdoor power tools coming and somebody's seen some pictures, but a rotary hammer is not one of those tools that anybody has been asking for or a new rehash of this rotary hammer. If you want to see the specs, let me take a look at them with you real quick. So again, one of the first things that jump out at me is the price, $279 for this tool, and that's the tool only. Now, what is this thing offering? Okay, 50% less vibration. 
they had a tool that had less vibration. You know, they put the rubber gasket in the middle of the handle in the actual body. That's great. No load speeds up to 1400 RPM delivers 5,000 BPM. So it is a little bit more powerful. Three mode selector that features the rotary hammer, the drilling and the chisel modes. And again, it just seems to be the same thing. Now, this is the part of the video where I say some of you might be happy and some of you might not be happy. So this is the new max output, it's the EXP 8AH battery. Rigid has been experimenting with batteries for the last couple years and then they came out with the Octane battery, which people hated at first and then ended up loving it and then they got rid of the Octane. This right here seems to be a rehashed Octane battery. It's a smart battery. It's going to work in conjunction with your tools and it's going to send more power when needed and blah, 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 blah. I think this is where Ridge is going to get in trouble because people are not caring. And, and again, maybe I'm wrong about all these new batteries and then they take them away and then they put new batteries out and then they take them away. It's just a rehashed thing. And I'm probably going to get in some BS with, you know, subscribers and, but I'm just giving you my opinion, you know, so let's read through this. So they are using the premium and when they say premium, I don't know, are they Samsung cells? I don't know. It just says premium 21 700 lithium ion cells uh, to give you more run time. They're saying this is the most powerful battery that you can find for the rigid right now. It delivers up to three times more power in high demand applications. It's 100% compatible. Lifetime service agreement, 90 days of purchase, you got to register it. And okay, so if you're running rigid tools, great, but I don't see anybody running out and buying this thing saying that they have to have this. They're gonna use the batteries they already have. Will they replace some of their maybe older Octanes? Possibly, but again, I don't think anybody has been asking for this. Now, Rigid is claiming that these batteries will take way more abuse than the previous models. You can drop them, you can spill things on them, whatever. Okay, great. If they're upping their battery technology, that's never a bad thing, but I think it's just too much too soon, especially after the whole octane fiasco and again if you're running power tools such as the coreless miner saw you're definitely going to want bigger batteries more powerful batteries and larger cells if they are good cells again i don't even know what's in these things however i just think again nobody has been asking for a new battery let's move it over to the one tool that i am pretty excited about and that i was able to see hands on now when i scroll down through here you will see a saw that some people have been asking for too little too late possibly but this is the rigid cordless rear handle saw they already had a corded for years now like four years five years they've had that saw out but this is the cordless one this is what people have been asking for and hopefully you know people will try this and like it it looks cool it looks powerful I've got to see a demonstration of this saw. It was a prototype and it was pretty impressive. That said, this is really the only new exciting thing that I'm seeing coming from Rigid and it's already been done a million times by other manufacturers. All right, so let's recap here and let me go on my rant a little bit. If you're a subscriber to this channel, you would know that over the years, I have been a champion for Rigid up to about a year or two ago. And then I seen that they were coming out with new things. I was getting excited again. There was more power being put back in these tools. They're performing better than some of the tools that came out two, three years ago. However, that said, I find them to be, and I'm gonna catch some heat on, on some of these comments, very, very boring. I feel that they're going backwards instead of forwards. I feel that they're just repeating the same things over and over again. And as a tool reviewer, a person that comes online here and brings these tools to you, I cannot get excited about this. And as much heat as that might bring me, I'm just not excited about this. I want to see them think outside the box. I want to see them be more creative. Even Ryobi, the, the brand that's a step down from Rigid, right? Rigid is a prosumer. Rigid is a DIY tool. They're coming out with way cooler things than Rigid. So me personally, and again, I'm going to catch hell for this. Why would I ever get into the Rigid line today when Ryobi is coming out with way cooler things? I just can't get excited about this. It's rehashed over and over and over again. And Emerson, you got to open up and let TTI start producing better things and coming out with some more original ideas. Because if not, I'm going to tell you now, the brand is going to die. Nobody is excited about Rigid. Nobody. And even a couple years ago, people were. There was some buzz around it. Nobody's excited about them right now. And this is what upsets me because this is what I do. I come on here and whether or not you like my opinion or agree with my opinion, it's my opinion. And this is what I do on this channel. I can't just be somebody 
that brings new tools and says, this is great, this is great, this is great, and not have a personal connection with, with them and how I feel about this. And I'm just not happy about it. We don't need a new light. We don't need a Gen 53 rotary hammer. You know, a towel saw is not that exciting. It might be for some. You know, and new battery technology, that is really muddy waters considering what a fiasco that Octane battery was. A lot of people end up getting into that platform and they discontinued it. Then they came out with max output. Now they're coming out and saying this battery is better. That's great. Up your game. But people are getting upset about it. And that is my, my feeling about it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Sorry for the rant, but every once in a while we do do that on the channel because, listen, I love tools. I love power tools. And I am not going to recommend a tool or a brand if I don't see momentum in that brand or that tool. If, it's, if, if they're not doing exciting things, I, I can't get excited about it. So let me know in the comment section what do you think. We'll be back with more videos soon.